from there. Sorry to interrupt, guys, and just let me share my screen. Uh, my screen is visible, right? Guys, my screen is visible, right? Yes, caution. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, now we are uh, going to concentrate on the coverage part. So coverage means one dashboard kind of thing. So where I will uh, get to know how many tests are uh, getting executed successfully, how many test cases are failed, that kind of data we are getting got understood from the coverage. So uh, clients and the other stakeholders, they are interested to see the coverage part, not interested to see the console part, right? In the console, the test case are being executed again and again simultaneously. But we have to create the link and we have to separate this link. We have to share with my clients. So this is the coverage link. Is a comment coverage vi test run coverage so you can any name you can pass you can see the result right one coverage report right the c8 there are two plugins one is c8 another is istanbul in the two coverage plugins we have so the configuration that is also that deep dependency you can see bi test coverage c8 and bi test coverage istanbul you no need to think about that what kind of a distribution or dependency I have to add. Just run this command. If it is not exist in your project or code base, it will automatically create it and it will automatically download the node models and so. Now we are going to see what coverage folder will be created. You can see in the coverage folder. You can go there. Just open Rebellion Explorer and you can see. In the root folder, we can get the coverage part, right? This, when you go index.html, open it in the Google Chrome or any, any browser, you can see. So the executed code base, whatever the JS file and I have added, so their status are being executed and showing how many, uh, if you click, so test case are showing. So one, yesterday we saw the dashboard part, Today, this is the coverage part. So all the files are being over there. This is consolidated format, the dashboard part, okay? So coverage, is, it covered the, all the things. In the operation.ts, you can see some kind of missing part is there. So it's showing red. So this is the, uh, how many functions, the 100% coverage they have taken. The branches, 15 test cases are there. This is one part. Another part is there. Last day I told you from that code base, from the project, you can also execute it. You can also run the test case. So if you have to install uh, the plugins from that extension and you can get the testing, this part, okay? You can see, if I click over there, you can go. You can debug the test case also from there. Just go and run from here and that click, go to the test. All our settings showing there, right? So this is the beauty of VI test. You using JST or any other modules, if the VI test inbuilt plugins, they have given this thing. So you can go and create test case. It will showing the run. Same thing if you created the UI, from the UI also, you can see this. Uh, you can change the UI and also update it. 
these things. This is one part. So one is coverage, another is from that inbuilt JSON, a inbuilt plugins you have to add. Now I am going to create uh, one uh, Axios test case. Okay. First, I have to create the React, and from the React, the how can I install? So this is the steps. First, we have to write npm create byte, and uh, also you can build and upload the project and also in the server only this code one more thing that i told you that is preview and build and you can also preview the project so npm run preview after run So you can see localhost 4173. So network okay. And host to export. You have to add the host and you have to add the port over here. Okay. I think build and then you can you can see in the local port you can also get this is from the TypeScript and the network I have, you have created the host and main network like 172 is your own network from the network you can also run let's let do one thing npm run build you can see jason speak something problem is there jason speak Yeah, let's build. Okay, so build is created. You can also see in the dist folder your build project also created. I think now if I run npm run preview, it will work. Preview. localhost 4173 uh, 4173 after build you can preview the project from the build folder it will showing okay so this thing the byte is not just only writing the unit test it's the ecosystem right In the ecosystem you can create your project now i'm going to create react project over there bi uh, react CMD, NPM, NPM, create byte. React testing. Any name you can now you can see the option right react and so cd react testing you can add so hope that react testing demo is created same way npm install dependencies
ls and then i'm going to open the code base that is one the src you can see the react is start react boilerplate has created right in the package.json dev and also you can see white config.js is created here for the react plugins earlier i have created i think normal vanilla javascript so here you can see the environment dot same thing normal when you create the vanilla javascript and white environment d dot ts is created but here you can see that white config so every configurations you can add but there now like i'm create white if i not adding anything npm run dev it's a byte not the byte test when you add the unit test then you have to install the byte test okay it's a front end tooling so in the ecosystem you can run npm run dev you can add npm run dev what have you have to see localhost 5173 Five one seven three. Now you can see white plus TypeScript. Here the only JS part, and here white plus React. So two logos, two different logos are coming. One is TypeScript based, and the React based. Okay, so React is installed. Now you have to build. You have to preview, and this is the one net fly netly fly this is one server uh, credence you have to create just i'm telling fly. it's develop and deploy your website and app you can deploy first you need to log in after the login i'm not going to see this thing but after the login you have to add these two commands npm install g and a login and initiate need the NPL and we can deploy okay these four comments are for deployment in build deployment right it okay let's okay. look at there so you can write the code but you have to install the y test so what i will do in the package.json same command we have to add test init I'll tell the build and then I will run for a minute. First, I have to build the command npm run build. Okay. CMD npm run build it. First, you can build this thing. automatically build is created now you have to do preview or this thing you have to install preview means there one url they are providing npm install net, netly fly means if you add the login credential then you can see welcome to anything you can email bitbucket github anywhere you can log in and then it will be synced to your code just i'm writing but not executing all the things over there the security purpose i cannot show these things 
So you can install this is the command npm install g netlify cli this this command. So all the configuration will be showing. It's a byte, it's not a byte test. Okay, when you write the unit testing, then we have to use the byte test or VI test. Computer anywhere you can log in by this login credentials to create. Take some time. I think some uh, yeah, what's coming. Uh, you can see this this message right one minute one minute one minute yes so netlify slayla has been installed so next step we need and deploy so when you do these things at your end so you can deploy i am not going to log in with the github or these things not for the security purpose i cannot show this thing but if you try at your end from your own laptop so you can this when you created the project instantly you can upload the project in this platform okay the react now test unit
not adding anything just test unit Something I'm missing one minute. I test environment environment that is called system. Not adding anything. Also, we can test it. Create on test case. What it will do? User. Not for any first. right. I think I'm the wrong folder for a minute. Um, PM run this unit. Okay. It is not recognized internal external command. Why? Let I have. Let's go for a moment. Oh. 
first i'll create one axios file or uh, api call and then this call i can show you it is a folder create on users dot service i'll create on service dot js sorry should be ts yes so to import axios to install axios so in order to install you have to add this thing axios this plugin for api call okay the react environment or fetch you can take it the user service i just input I just create one user service first so const that is my base url https json placeholder dot dot com this is the url base url and we have created two functions that can be export constant create user equal to async user or any this is not the typescript this is the normal javascript function written with axios dot post this function you have to add dollar and you can add base url Okay, the base URL plus users. So if I run this thing, the user right and the user, this one, this is the site from where I'll take in a API. Okay, you can take any API, you can instantly call. You can call this API and get the data. So, from there, I will create, I have taken two APIs. One is user that will create the user, and another is show the user. User. Oh, user dot data other function that i'll write it would const page user same function what i like async right async and Return avid axios dot get dollar this keyword will Same line. Okay. 
Yeah. Huh? The service now I'll write one. Yes. What is users dot it dot chase. input something from the test file input text comma test and vi is vi it's using for mocking your api call okay earlier we are using expect and test and one part that is before each and after each so before each means when you for loop any object right so before that for loop we have to means you have some empty set of array and you have to push some data in the array so before for loop we have to empty all the things and then you can push right the data then same concept before each before each this function i'll add and I have to import like two exported function create user and fetch user. So create user from where user service. And also link if you if the hands are showing and if you're going able to go this function, that means the link is successfully happened. User script, create user, and one function that is fetch user. These two things you have to add. This is all dependency, right? Import axios from axios. Here, first. First task vi dot mock. But it still makes all input to past module to be mocked. Right? It's a factory function. So whenever we call vi dot mock, so it internally creates some mocks folder and the axios. They can mock inside the spec file, right? and the data we are getting. So you can see there is a factory will return its result. The call to VI mock is hoisted to the top of the file. So when you call the API and test, so this is the recommended in the VI ecosystem. You have to add this, Axios. Now same, describe, describe I told. You observe one thing I have not added earlier describe right. If you write automatically added user service user service so automatically one blue play button is coming right. Mm -hmm. First, they have to be for each. Before each one function, what I have to do? Axios dot get dot mock reset mock 
reset this program. So it's empty. The post. Same thing you have to add in post. Before it is completed. Now I have to describe the create user. Create user. And post user to describe. Create user. Create user. Makes a post request to create. New user. const new user payload An object right name. You have to add const new user mock. ID is one dot new user payload that I have to pass here as it. What I'll do axios dot post right and dot mock resolve. Hello. Don't bend on this house. It does. So to new user mock that is passed. Post mock. Const new user have it create user will pass new user payload right? new user payload and expect axios dot post dot to have been called to have been called is coming yes yes all do it this is a url http yes this one is holder dot IP code dot com slash users and comma 
new user payload you have to pass. New user or to it to a user mock. Any questions from her? Hello. No question, question. So you understood it. Okay. Yes, what will be in the create user? Create user you can the service see, right. Just a minute. So you can see this is my service, right? Create user. Okay. So in the create user, I will post. There is two function access card, create and post. So it will go and post the user as per the payload. I'm going to create this thing. This is my data. Okay. This user will be creating. So this side is for your coding purpose, right? That I've created. But same thing you have to taste na, from your yes, yes. CID. Noted, yeah. That's why I'm writing. So you can understood this. Because yeah. most challenges that API test kaise kar da, right? We are not getting. So up up project may. API will be there. It's constant, right? Without API, you're going to write the form of content. So, apko, uh, how we can execute the test case with the Axios? That I'm trying to over. Yes, got it, got it. Okay. So, create user and fetch user. Two, two functions I've created. So, that's why two test case I'm written. Make say get call its request to fetch users async const user mock. Is equal to ID that is one axios dot gate. Dot mock result value. Mock result value. Data user mock that you will pass. Const users. Equal to what I will write, await and fetch user, right? This value this is your fetch users that I'm going to write. Await fetch users. Now expect, I will expect axios dot get dot. Who have been called it? Not have been called it. Same thing, I'll go and copy. 
Now if I run this case, user space, right? This is the test case, the service independent. We can go and start. And then any spelling mistake I've done for a minute. Mock suspect dot chase. Run from here. Mock request. Uh, not a function. We set what the problem. And yes. Run test that this is a different discussion, but. Mm. Yeah. This uh, our test case is user speak, right? It's right, user speak dot js. So it's working. There is a different and this is called the API testing. Yeah. the package and npm run ui so it will show the graph cmd npm run ui mm. 
Yeah. Where it passed one field, right? Is the different our this case is pig dot js the module graph and the code that is right. Any question? Right. No question. No question. Okay. So have you uh, yesterday whatever I discussed that have you practice? Mm, not yet. We'll see. And practice, right? Okay. Can you share your uh, this code? Uh, yes, yes. I will share this code. Okay. And tomorrow one one session also be there. Okay. I have extend one session because. Two or three major things will be covered, so then your understanding will be all better. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, to, tomorrow, one hello? session. Yes, yes. Bully. Uh, Pashi, can you share this video? Yes, yes. Video will be automatically shared from the LND. Okay. Okay. From the LND, when the our uh, the session will be completed, so LND will share. Okay. Okay. And tomorrow we have other class. One class I have extended because I hope that uh, these small small concept also help you in your project because VI test is newly launched. Okay, and it's top of the Angular view and any other framework. You can use also JavaScript also that I will show you. So very fast development and very fast rate is growth of the development is very good over there so you can write any kind of test case and you are not need to install anything right in the js you have to install js module enzyme configure just create the boilerplate and any framework you can use with the vi test vi test and the vi these two things you have to add only this byte configurations this automatically include in your project in the react right when you add into the React project, so input React VI test plugin React you automatically install. So in the JS uh, module engine, you have to configure many things, but you have to know no need to configure. So minimal settings, but you can write your own code and own test cases that I've shown you. Uh, you can show that JSON file test case. I also show you API test case. And tomorrow, one or two new interesting things I will show you. That will be better. Okay. I hope you you got some interest this uh, session, right? Yes. Yes. Sure. Yes. 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 Course. Yeah. Sure. So tomorrow we'll connect again for the same 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 time. And whatever the small small concept and some kind of gaps that I will cover next. Day. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.